I think every day I'm facing some challenge or the other with going live. But you see, it's what is the time now? It's 9, 10, 20 and I'm coming live now because my daughter was really grateful today. So she basically says, don't go live at all and put me to sleep and all that. Today, she's very, very sweet. She came and said, like, my meetings all got over by around 9.45. And then I was like, I need to rest. And like, the rest basically, I have to tell story <clears throat> to my daughter to put her to sleep. And then I was about to go to put her to sleep when she said, why did, didn't you tell uh, uh, the bedtime stories today? I said, no, I'm too tired. And also, I have to put you to sleep. And she, you know what she said? I listen to your previous episodes and then go to sleep. You don't worry. You go tell stories to everybody else, she said. Very sweet. No? Same daughter, when I started the first episode, she was standing here and crying, saying, hey, you didn't tell anybody stories. All that. She's growing up, becoming a good girl, becoming a mature girl and all that. It's, it's very interesting. Okay, so let's begin with the story. The story is again, <clears throat> the story, there is one slight problem with the story. Okay, so the story... Uh, there is no moral to the story, but we love the story creating this together, me and my daughter. Okay, so this is slightly based on another story that we already know. You might also know, but yeah, it's a, the story is slightly a very, very different when you listen to it. Okay, once upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time, in the outskirts of Maharashtra, in Maharashtra, there was one village. This is one village where... Uh, uh the, the like this is like very deserted place somehow uh, some houses are all there but uh, you know like the train passes through that village you know those kinds of villages you know where very less number of houses people don't even they wouldn't even have gotten into these trains but they they see the train passing through every day that kind and the story is not about the village the story is about the train and the driver there is one train that goes through that day every once in every two days and <clears throat> the train goes exactly to the uh, to delhi okay so delhi is close to the the kashmir and himalayas and all of those things right so this is you know just need to know this okay because uh, i'll tell you what exactly that is okay so all there's this train driver going every day uh, on the way and all that and while he was going every day he saw this boy exactly at this place standing there and waving at him and he also was very, very happy. He said, yay, awesome. He was also waving. And he was a very good driver. So this boy was coming every day and waving. And he was very, very happy to see him. And this boy one day said, um, uh, he had a board with him. And board had written something, uh, something written on it. And he showed it to the driver. The driver did not understand the language. It was written in Marathi, but uh, the driver did not know Marathi. And the driver said, hey, very nice. This boy is starting to converse with me. And then another day, another board comes. And so like same board, but something different was written. Again, he says, bye, bye, bye. So he was like, uh, this boy is trying to tell me something. But uh, it's okay, I think. He's just saying, hi, how are you, kinds, I think. So uh, I can just be, keep waving at him every day as if I understand what that is. Okay. So this boy is coming every day and doing a lot of things. And suddenly one day, um, he's coming, doing the waving and all that. But uh, the letters are becoming really bigger and stronger and like red color and all that. And the driver does not understand what exactly this is. Okay. So he was like, uh, mm, I don't know. He wants to tell me something, but but I don't know what it is. The other, the other driver that comes along with me also does not know what happened. So I don't know what to do. It was long, long back, no pictures and all of those things. So the driver was wondering, what should I do about this? And uh, he figured saying, I don't know. I'm just going that way. What is he trying to tell me? Maybe he's doing the same to all the drivers that are coming that way. All the other trains that are coming that way also. Some game he's playing with us. And he left it there. Okay. So one day, uh, he sees that the boy is like slowly not being happily showing, but like sadly showing those uh, boards. Okay, then also he did not understand anything. Then he was like, maybe I don't know, what should I do? All of that. But he kept going through that day. One day he sees that the boy is not there. And he was like, I don't know what happened to him. Second day he goes, again, the boy is not there. Third day he goes, again, the boy is not there. Now he's slightly worried. 
he is worried saying who is this boy why was he not like uh, shaking hand like waving to me what did he want to say what did the board contain all of these things he wanted to know okay so then one day uh, he thought okay i think i should go and find out because this boy is not there so he put leave and then he took the train to the nearest railway station and from there took an auto and somehow traced that place and he went there and he went there and he asked the people there there is a boy here do you know they were like there are 100 boys here how, how do you know and then again he told them all the story about how this boy could came there he was holding a board and he didn't know what was written on that and everything and then the um and then the villagers found out saying you oh you are talking about that boy and this boy is here and he they took him to that place okay so why he went there he found that oh my god hey abdul nice how this is oh very nice smiley is abdul i like that okay so now why he went there he found that uh, the boy was actually sick and there was this himalayan flower that he wanted and people have told him saying himalayan flower is somewhere near the himalayas that is close to delhi and uh, nobody can go there it's really far away and somewhere he heard saying that one train that goes crosses that area at around 9:30 in the morning is that train that goes closest to the himalayas and now he wanted to make friends with the driver so the driver can get the himalayan flower for him so the driver was like stunned he was like he is trying to tell me something and i did not understand all of this and i thought it was okay uh and um, the driver found out saying he does not know the language that he speaks and where all the translation happened and the driver said don't worry i am going there tomorrow and then i'll put leave i'll go to the himalayas get the flower for you you will be all right and then the next day the driver went there and got the flower and the next day when the train passed by the boy was not there boy's little boy's grandfather only the grandfather and the boy were there in the house so he was there waving and he threw the uh, flower uh, over to the grandfather and he and the train passed away and then the second day nobody was there third day nobody was there now he was again worried the fourth day there was this boy standing very freshly dressed nicely had bath and comb hair and everything and his board again there was something on the board don't know what that is but the board was white color so the driver understood saying maybe he's trying to thank me and the driver said thank you and you he got all those phone numbers and okay <laughs> yeah so he said thank you and that is the end of the story i don't know what the moral is here i think maybe the moral of the story is i don't know <laughs> maybe the moral of the story is that you need to understand clearly on what exactly the other person is trying to say if you don't understand maybe it's important for you to go and ask them or do something about it but not just assume things yeah and then do it i don't have a uh, affirmation or i don't have a declaration also today and i think i'm really sleepy and talking a lot of rubbish today <laughs> <laughs> okay but yeah so things are going really well and back to this busy life doing a lot of things and the, the book is coming out very very soon most probably in tomorrow or day after i should be announcing the publishing date of the books i say books because there are three books my story book stories in tamil my stories in english and there is a kids journal that i'm publishing all three of it will come and i am so excited to show it like release it and give it all to you guys i am very very happy that i'm doing this right now you can all go to sleep please go to sleep and let me play the lullaby for you one minute and say good night to everybody good night appa good night amma good night kuti tambi good night kuti papa sweet dreams take care